Come on, 160, 170. There we go. All right, break, break, break. Well, we just took the fast lane all the way to work doing 150 miles an hour consistently. And wow, this thing is an absolute beast. The SRT Hellcat. And it's a red eye, so it's got like the upgraded tune on it. It's just the best muscle car money can buy. And yeah, we're out at the truck shop today, but we're not going to be here all day. We're heading over to the store. And the store owner, Bob, he's having us repo some vehicles that he sold and people can't make their payments on it. So when they can't make their payments, we have to go repossess it or take it back. And that's the banks. And then we get a small percentage of it. So since we're a certified CDL truck operator, we're able to operate his tow truck. So he's actually hiring out us to, for the day just to go pick up vehicles on a flatbed. And that's it. So we're going to actually take the truck over to his store. Oh my gosh, this thing flies. And then I think the dog is good, so we're going to leave him there. All right, we've arrived at the shop, so let's check this out. We've got, oh, a nice big Peterbilt flatbed. All right, Bob has a lot of money, so he's not going small with this tow truck. And this thing's a beast. got lots of tires on it. Got a giant winch, light bar. I've actually never operated a light bar before. That'd be nice. Kind of tell traffic to get out of the way. And here are our controls. Tilt deck and then slide deck, rear beam, first beam, second beam. So... I assume the deck slides, drops down, tilts up, does a bunch of fancy stuff. And then I think we have control box on this side too. Cool. And yeah, we should be good. So we're going to open up the overhead door here and get heading out. Actually, uh, park the car over here for the day. We don't want to be parked in front of his service shop. There we go. All set. All right, let's grab the tow truck. And if you guys are excited for this repo video, we haven't done it in a while. But if you're ready and excited, make sure you hit the like button down below. Because today we're going to be having two vehicles on the list. The first one is a Lamborghini Urus. Uh, this is the four-door SUV Lamborghini. And someone's not making their payments on it. Location says downtown apartments. So it's right down the street. And then the second one, we have about a 30-minute drive across the bridge over to the mcdonald's on the other side and we got to repo a truck and uh, this one's gonna get pretty crazy so make sure you stick around for that truck repo it's gonna be insane uh first here's the lamborghini urs we have the spare key that makes it all easier so all right let's line it up here there we go turn on the flashers let traffic know that we're repoing a vehicle here slide it back drop it down and then we should be able to position it correctly this is kind of a tight space this guy's pretty smart parking it there because I got to spin the truck around right here. Okay, this is not working good. Maybe we pull into this Applebee's, get a better angle on it. All right, it doesn't matter. Let's just get it down and we have the spare key. So that's good. Angle down. Perfect. All right, spare key. Unlock. There we go. It's open. Perfect. All right, let's load this thing up. We got to strap it down and then take it back to Bob's shop. There we go. Strap one, strap two. Come on. Throw it across. Perfect. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. Okay, this might have been the easier one of the day. Nobody ran outside for their car. And yeah, they're probably still sleeping. It is currently 9.30 right now. And then, like I said, for the next repo we have, it's going to be crazy because there's a truck meet going on. And this is the only opportunity because the guy leaves it in a locked garage during the other hours of the day. And we can't break into their house. So technically, we have to find a spot where they're in public. Oh my gosh, you can be kidding me. The train, I'm on a time schedule here. So as soon as we drop off this Lamborghini, we're going to head over to McDonald's, pick this thing up. Hopefully it's at the truck meet. This guy is known for heading to the truck meet, so it's literally a perfect spot. And it's going to be so difficult because we're going to have to somehow pull up and load his truck up without him noticing, drag it on the trailer because there's no spare key for it. So we have to drag it all the way up our flatbed. It's, it's going to be crazy. So, all right, let's back this one in to the garage. Nice and secure. Perfect. All right, start the rollback going. I can actually control it in the truck here, so let's tilt it. Slide it back. Here we go. Perfect. All right, now we just drive it off. All right, perfect. We dropped the Lamborghini off. Now we've got the difficult one. So I think what we should do is once we get there, we need to somehow get one of the tow hooks so you can see strapped down on the back onto his truck hitch. And then once we have it attached to his truck, we can drag it up onto the flatbed. All right, so let's get heading over to the other side of town. I think we need to do some recon, though. So we're going to park the truck uh, somewhere outside of there. I mean, there's a Casey's nearby. Um, and then there's a parts store. So maybe we go there. Uh, he's going to know we're coming because he doesn't make his payments. So he's going to be on the lookout for repo trucks, of course. I mean, this doesn't really say anything on the side of it. It just says US dot, uh, which is just like the number of the truck for the business. I, I don't know if he knows what that means. But I mean, there's no towing service, no repo, anything on the side no logos so that's good so we'll be in disguise a little bit so here we go okay they're already there 
So what it is, is it's the white pickup truck, the GMC. It's a 2018 Sierra all built out. I think, yep, that's it. It's the one in the middle. Oh gosh, that's a tricky one. So let's park over here in this parking lot and then uh, we'll walk over and start talking to him and say, hey, nice truck, man. You know, all that cool stuff. So, all right, let's pull in here. Oh, we had the lights on. Oh my gosh. All right, I don't think he saw us. We were on the other side of the road, but we gotta be more careful than that. All right, that's a good park job. I think we're in the spot. All right, here we go. Act natural. There's actually a lot of nice trucks there. Okay, there's a couple guys standing over there. We're gonna just kind of walk by, check out the trucks. I'm not in uniform either. No repo uniform. So, all right, here we go. All right, we got a lot of nice trucks. Hey, I like your truck, sir. Which one's yours? Uh, mine is the white one here. Oh, the GMC one? Yeah, the, the white GMC. Yeah, that's a nice truck, man. I like it. Uh, where are the other guys at that own the trucks? Oh, they're inside getting their uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? This is McDonald's. Yeah, I mean chicken and filet. Chicken filet. Oh, my, my bad. Chicken filet. Was that like a sandwich or something? All right. Anyhow, these are a lot of nice trucks here. We got a Ram. This thing's cool. It's got a turbo. D do you need something, sir? No. What are you doing touching my buddy's truck? I'm not touching his truck. I'm just looking at it. All right. I got my eyes on you. Okay. What a weirdo. All right. We got a nice bright red truck, though. We're going to do a little overview of everything, guys, for my Instagram channel. Just going to post a bunch of cool pictures online. Uh, yeah, we got a Ram here. Oh, look at this GMC. This thing is sweet. Wow, look at this. What would I do if I accidentally pulled this? Don't even think about it. Don't, don't even think about it. All right, I wasn't going to touch it, dude. Chill. I like the truck, though. I, I do have to give you credit for that. What, what, are you, what mods do you have on this thing? Well, pretty much everything's done to it besides the doors. Uh, yeah, we've got front bumper. We got massive mud tires here. Here, let me show you. Come around the back side. Got a gigantic tow hook for my buddies when they need to get pulled out of the mud. And uh, over here, we got giant lift. As you can see, if you look, squat down here to take a look at the lift. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice. Look at those springs, man. Those are huge. What are those uh, aftermarket striker lift or something? What is this thing? Oh, yeah, it's a striker lift. Yep, that was a hundred grand. A hundred grand. A hundred grand for that? I mean, you said it twice, but yeah, that's crazy. Front bumper, all that cool stuff. All right, sir. Well, thanks. I'm just going to go uh, get my chicken filet inside. So, yeah, you said it was good, right? Yep, good chick -fil -A. Ch chicken filet. Chicken filet. All right, see ya. All right, guys, we got another chicken filet. And uh, yeah, that guy is weird. All right, anyhow, that's the guy that owns the truck. His name is Dave Johnson, all right? And we're repoing his truck. So, all right, here we go. We got the, the tow truck. I think we grabbed the tow hook. And then he's going inside right now to get something to eat because uh, he had to wait till I went away for some reason. So we're going to go around the backside. Oh, my gosh, my tow hook. And then we're going to go attach this to his tow hook. And then we should be good. Yeah, he's or he's yeah he's inside now. Okay, that's good. Let's go around the backside of his truck. We got the hook. Let's just put it on. And then we'll pull up with the tow truck in the street. Police is on standby. They're like a minute down the road in case they need to come by. Help me repo this thing. But we get paid more if we do it on our own. So, all right, let's hook it up here. Boom, there we go. We got it on. All right, that's perfect. Throw a strap down on it. We should be able to come with the tow truck. Should be perfect. All right, is he still inside? Oh, yeah, he's at the vending machine. All right, we got to make this quick. He's coming back to his truck in a minute. He didn't seem like a guy you want to mess with either, so we have to get this job done quick before he gets back. There we go. Fire up the truck. All right, all set. Uh, we're going no beacons, too. Anything to draw attention is not needed, okay? This guy does not need to know we're coming, so let's just be careful. Here we go. All right, he's still inside. Perfect. All right, swing the truck around. There we go. Back it in. Oh, he's still looking at the vending machine. No way. All right, there we go. Crank it back. Crank it. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. Now he's at the snack machine. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right, let's keep eyes on him. Now he's at the other vending machine. Oh, this is perfect. All right. Come on. Back it in. Get the roll down. There we go. All right. Now let's attach the winch. We're going to drag this thing up. Perfect. Here we go, boys. We got the truck. All right, it's coming up the trailer. It's winching up. Oh, my gosh. A little bit more. Three, two. Oh no, he's coming back. All right, crank it down. There we go. All right, we're on the move, boys. We got the truck successfully repoed. See you later, buddy. No more pickup truck for you. Give me my truck back. No, you'll have to get it at the impound lot. He got in his buddy's truck. Oh my gosh, you're flashing the lights at me. I can't see. Oh, the deer. Move out of the way. All right, we're going to try and get back to the shop, but we can't lead him where the shop is because they're going to break in. So, all right, they're probably going to chase me for a while. We have to outrun them now. This is part of the job, okay? We get paid more. 
I don't want cops involved. Uh, you have to write a police report and all that. Oh my gosh, he's flying. All right, I have an idea. So we're going to head out to the farm area because that's where we're going to be able to outrun them. All right, here we go. We're absolutely flying. They're honking the air horns back there. All right, let's keep going up this road. Oh my gosh, he's right on me. There we go. I think we'll be able to outrun him. I'm pretty good at this stuff. Oh my gosh, we're absolutely flying. We got to be careful on these turns though so we don't flip it. All right, game plan is there's a farm down the road and we're going to pull into the farm. Oh no, what's he going to do? Oh, he just crashed into the side. Okay, that just gave us like plus another minute to outrun this guy. But here we go. Here's the road. Oh my gosh, this is where it gets dicey. Oh no. Okay, we're in the ditch. Get out, get out. There we go, back on the road. Oh, he's already back on to us. You got to be kidding me. Here, let him fly by. Juke him out. Oh, look at him go. He just flipped. He's still moving. No way. He's got like one more life left before he's done. Okay, I think he knows where we're going. He's like driving on the field. It's probably a better option. Oh my gosh. There's no way he's recovering from that. Oh, he's flipped. All right, this is good. Yep, yep. There's no way. He's got to get on foot now and chase us. All right, here we go. Take a right. All right, they're on foot. They're trying to chase us, but there's no way they're going to catch up with us. We're still faster. Here's the farm right up here. We're going to pull in and we're going to hide out here. Uh, this is actually owned by Bob. So Bob, the shop owner, owns this farm. So he said, just keep it here because people don't really like to mess with farmers. So we're going to pull into this farm and hide it out. So here we go. Take a left. Oh my gosh. All right. Here's the shed. Perfect. Take a left here. All right. Gates closed. There we go. Come on. Get in quick so he doesn't see us. All right. Gates open. Perfect. Hopefully the gate closes when we get through. Oh, I remember the shop, the good old days. All right, he doesn't see us. That's good. So now we're able to hide out here until we can take it back to the city to get repoed into Dave's shop. But here, let's get the overhead door open. Back it in. Oh, the height is perfect. All right, we're going to have to angle it, though. A little bit of a tight fit. Perfect. Shut the door. All right, we're good. We escaped him. Crazy Dave Johnson. Well, guys, that's it for today's repo video. It got pretty crazy. But if you'd like to see us continue repoing vehicles... The story just keeps getting better. So make sure you hit the like button down below and also subscribe so we can hit our goal of 150K before next year. I'd appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.